Now, granted, there are other planes that have vanished and they have been found years and years later. But for right now, there has been no update on this. Phoenix, you're bursting a fire burn. A thirst and desire. You transform it up in a flash. You spread your wings to rise from the ashes. Phoenix, you burst in a fire burn. A thirst and Hey, y'all. Hey, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time it is where you are. I'm Sasha. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back, my Laura Royal. So good to see you. If you are new to the fam, welcome to the family, my new Laura Royals. So good to finally meet you. Welcome, welcome, y'all, to another Aviation Monday. And in today's Aviation Monday, we're going to continue with our Spooktober. So for this particular one, this is actually one where I had done a previous video about a different aircraft of the same type of aircraft that vanished a while ago but this one is one that i didn't even know existed so listen to the story and then let me know in the comments down below did you know anything about this particular disappearance and if so do you have any updates on it with all that said let's get into it every day Different aircraft take to the skies with routes to different destinations. For the most part, these aircraft make it to their destinations with little to no issues. However, there is the unusual occurrence that may cause a disruption or a strange delay. Aircraft go missing from a route but eventually be recovered after a thorough search and complete investigation. But what happens when an aircraft veers off route and just vanishes. That would be the case of a Phuket Peru Boeing 727 on September 11th of 1990. This is the Boeing 727, an American narrow body airliner developed and produced by Boeing commercial airplanes. The 727 in today's story is a 21 year old aircraft registered OB-1303, whose first flight was in 1969. The aircraft was owned by Peruvian airline Phuket Peru, but was at the time leased to Air Malta and painted in its livery. The aircraft was a ferry flight from Malta to Peru. On board were six crew members and 10 passengers. The route consisted of various refueling stops. These stops included London, Milan, Keflavik, Gondor, and Miami, then complete its journey in Lima. The flight would successfully make its first two fueling stops, but run into trouble from Keflavik to Gondor. The aircraft was able to refuel at Keflavik and left Iceland at 1.16 p.m. local time, but would never arrive in Gondor. Around 3.20 p.m., TWA Flight 851 and American Airlines Flight 35, both of whom were nearby at the time, overheard a transmission of an aircraft declaring a low fuel emergency. According to the transmission, the distressed aircraft was at 10,000 feet and getting ready to ditch into the Atlantic Ocean. According to reports, the aircraft's last known location was around 250 miles southeast of the city of St. John's, Newfoundland and 180 miles southeast of Newfoundland at its nearest point. Several hours passed before an official search and rescue was initiated by the Canadian Armed Forces. The search party included three CP-140 Aurora airplanes, three CH-113 Labrador helicopters, two Canadian Coast Guard vessels, two fishery patrol vessels, and two naval destroyers. According to authorities, a weak signal was reportedly detected from the jet's emergency transmitter 
by a satellite after radio contact with the plane was lost, although the exact location of the signal source could not be identified. At the time of the aircraft's ditching into the ocean, the weather was good and sea was calm. With the good weather, calming water, and clear visibility, the aircraft should have been able to be easily found at the supposed crash site. However, despite clear conditions in which if the aircraft had indeed ditched into the Atlantic, it would have been able to float long enough for rescue. Yet when the crews went to search, there was no trace of the missing airliner. Strange enough, the Atlantic is known for like having a lot of turbulent waters, but the fact that the time that this particular plane supposedly ditched into the Atlantic means that there should have been no issue for them to find the plane. But strange enough as it is, where the supposed ditch site was, there was no airplane. My question is, if there's no plane, how did it ditch without being seen? Did it just vanish? In the aftermath, an investigation by the Peruvian government went on until January 1991 and came back with inconclusive findings. The aircraft, crew, and passengers remain missing. The only issue I have with this is the fact that the reported weather conditions were so good and two other flights that were nearby heard the aircraft make the emergency declaration that they were going to ditch, but yet nobody reported seeing anything. And based on what I found, there's not that much information about this particular case, but at the same time, all reports seem to say the same, the same thing. They all lead to the same sort of conclusion of vanished into thin air. But you cannot tell me an entire Boeing 727 jet just vanishes. But apparently to this day, no one has found it. So my question to you, and leave me a comment if you can, what do you think happened to this jet? I know for a fact this story was extremely short in contrast to the others that we've been going over for Spooktober, but there's only but so much that you can say when it comes to the disappearance that no one has ever been able to solve. Now, granted, there are other planes that have vanished and they have been found years and years later. But for right now, there has been no update on this and I don't know if there ever will be. So I do apologize for it being so short, but I do hope that you learned a little bit of something, something about this. I know it's not as spookily scary as, you know, other crashes and things, but I just wanted to try a little something different. But that is the story of the disappearance of the Boeing 727 under the uh, bus at Peru. So, Again, let me know in the comments below, what do you think happened to the plane? Do you think it's very strange that two other surrounding planes heard the transmission for the plane to ditch and yet nobody saw anything? Do you think that it crashed and just was completely destroyed and therefore nobody was able to recover anything? Or do you think it landed safely somewhere and it's been just, it was hidden or something? What do you think happened to it? Please let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this little short tale, please do give it a thumbs up. If you like travel and aviation, please consider subscribing to my channel. I would highly appreciate it. If you will, if you may, please go follow me over on Twitter at DragonPink07. And with all that said, I will see you all in the next video.